children how are you i hope you all are fine welcome to your grade 5 today we are going to see your first lesson reproduction in plants it is a very interesting lesson we are going to see your first lesson reproduction in plants from your very favorite science subject children before entering into the lesson do you all know the common meaning for the word reproduction can you know what is the meaning for the word reproduction i will tell you the meaning it is nothing but to create or to recreate create or to recreate something usually a new living things such as we can say baby it is the common meaning to create or to recreate something usually a new living thing it is the common meaning for the word reproduction but in science reproduction means it is the production of offspring by a sexual or asexual process in science reproduction is the production of offspring by a sexual or ye sexual process okay from the above line so from i what i said sexual or asexual you have a doubt what is mean by offspring am i right students yes it is nothing but offspring is nothing but a person's child or children and an animal's young or otherwise we can say child means human child or animal child we are also an offspring or an offspring is the cup of two lions two lions see the picture a parent lion and its child cub so there is a parent and there is a child this is their offspring okay i hope now you are clear with the meaning reproduction and an offspring now we are going to see what is mean by sexual reproduction before i said no sexual and asexual in that we are going to see sexual reproduction this sexual reproduction is a mode of reproduction involving the fusion of male and a female gamete involving the fusion of male and a female gamete so what is mean by gamete here gametes are cells that is the sexual part that produce sex cells so gamete means it's a sexual part produce sex cells it is the sex cell of plants gametes are the sex cell of plants like humans like humans plants have sperm and egg cells that need to fuse in order to produce zygote or fertilized egg to produce zygote or fertilized egg so gamete means it is the sex cell of plants okay next if you want to clearly understand about the sexual process i will tell you an example see the picture this is the hibiscus flower in hibiscus flower you can see the male structure that is stamen and female structure corpel here male is stamen male is stamen and female is corpel and female is corpel these two together that is the stamen and corpel together and reproduce a new plant with some agents with some uh, these two stamen and corpel together and reproduce a new plant with some agents so i hope you are clear with sexual reproduction 
okay next so we saw sexual reproduction next what is mean by asexual reproduction it is just opposite to sexual process it is just opposite to sexual process this asexual reproduction is also a mode of reproduction which does not involve the fusion of male and a female gamete which does not involve the fusion of male and female gamete sexual in sexual reproduction there is a fusion of male and female gamete but in asexual reproduction there is no fusion of male and female okay we can say this asexual reproduction is an artificial mode plants reproduce asexually through vegetative propagation children have you heard the word before vegetative reproduction vegetative propagation let me tell you in a way or mode of reproduction in plants in which a vegetative part vegetative part like root stem and leaves develop into a new plant under favorable condition is called vegetative propagation so in asexual reproduction there is no fusion of male and female gamete it is an artificial mode and how it can reproduce another plant that reproduce asexually through vegetative propagation vegetative propagation is nothing but it is a reproduction in plants in which a vegetative part like root stem and leaves develop into a new plant under a favorable condition so that is you can take an example of your favorite potato of your favorite potato do you know this favorite potato does not have any seeds potato have no seeds then how does it grow into a new plant there should be some other way am i correct it grow from its stem it grow from its stem and it has an eye on it see the picture there is a red mark that is the eye of a potato which develops into a new plant after some time same way ginger is also grows into new plant so potato has no seeds potato has no seeds and it grows from its stem likewise ginger also grows into new plant from its stem you can take an another example rose plant we can make small cutting on stem of rose plant and plant them into soil at another place it is a stem cutting there it grows into a new plant like that there are many plants with no seeds like potato rose onion etc so this is vegetative propagation okay this is vegetative propagation by root stem leaves this is a vegetative propagation that is why roots stem and leaves are vegetative organs of plants that could be used for asexual reproduction asexual reproduction has no fusion of male and female gamete so that could be used for this vegetative pr- propagation is used for asexual reproduction this means that they do not produce sex cells or play a direct role in sexual reproduction like potato rose plant so root stem and leaves are the vegetative plant parts root stem and leaves are the vegetative plant parts next like that flowers are the reproductive part of a plant 
root stem and leaves are vegetative plant parts whereas flowers are the reproductive part of a plant we know the reason why root stem and leaves are vegetative plant part from the example potato rose etc likewise you want to know why flowers are the reproductive part of a plant is there any guess i will tell you because flower is the part where reproduction is occurring plants flower is the part where reproduction is occurring plants flower grow into fruits see the picture the pomegranate flower grow into fruits and the fruit contain seeds see the picture in papaya fruit it contain seeds a seed germinate into a new plant a seed germinate to grow into a new plant have you ever wonder why plants produce so many seeds do you know that all seeds may not grow into new plants some seeds are eaten by animals some seeds are eaten by animals some seeds are destroyed by rain or wind and some do not get right soil or enough air and water so bundly those seeds can grow that get enough air water and sunlight that develop into new plants that develop into new plants so a seed can grow that get enough air water and sunlight students we know that plants are very useful to us they give us a lot of things such as food fiber wood rubber gum medicines tea coffee etc we cannot live without plants because it give us many things especially we get oxygen from plants but nowadays we are cutting more and more plants for our own purpose we should not cut plants instead of that we should grow more and more plants but how do plants grow you got an idea about how plants are growing from our before topics am i right let us see some other methods now we came to know about the meaning of reproduction so the definition for reproduction is it is the process by which living beings produce n ones of their own kind so the another one for reproduction is it is the process by which living beings produce n ones of their own kind now you know that all living beings including plants also reproduce because that species do not die out so all living beings are reproducing plants are also living beings in that there are three methods of reproduction in plants there are three methods of reproduction in plants first method is from seeds second method is from spores and the third one is from other plant parts that is vegetative propagation this we discussed before i hope you remember the third method from other plant parts that is potato and rose plant etc from other plant parts vegetative propagation i hope you have clear in this now we are going to see the remaining two methods reproduction from seed and spores first we will see reproduction from seeds how plants reproduce from seeds do you know here you want to know 
the two terms flowering and non flowering plant flowering and non flowering plant what is flowering plant a plant that produce flowers fruit and seeds a plant that produce flowers fruit and seeds example lemon plant apple etc these are flowering plant a plant that produces flowers fruit and seeds then what is non flowering plant non flowering plant are those that do not ever produce flowers fruits and seeds it will not produce flowers fruits and seeds example fern and moss do you know how plants reproduce from seeds seed plants have special structures on them where male and female cells male and female cells join together through a process called fertilization through a process called fertilization after fertilization a tiny plant a tiny plant a small plant called an embryo is formed inside a seed formed inside a seed the seed protects the embryo and stores food for it and stores food for it next do you know how plants reproduce from spores from seeds visa male and female join together and the tiny plant embryo is formed inside a seed and it protects the embryo so you have an, any idea about how plants reproduce from spores when weather conditions are ideal some ferns that is they are pteridophytes algae and mosses they are bryophytes the pteridophytes and bryophytes are plants that grows in hill stations and moist region and even fungi release spores into the air often carried by the wind by insects or birds until they land spores contain both male and female reproductive organ spores contain both male and female reproductive organ which allows the spores to germinate into new daughter plants there are some non flowering plants there are some non flowering plants that do not produce seeds that do not produce seeds instead they use spores to reproduce instead they use spores to reproduce spore producing plants include plants such as ferns and mosses spores are tiny cell that usually contain only a single cell how many cell only single cell okay children today we have discussed about reproduction three methods of reproduction then how plants reproduce from seeds spores and other plant parts and then flowering plant non flowering plant then vegetative propagation then sexual reproduction asexual reproduction and gametes so children i hope you understand today's class revise these topics and do the worksheet thank you children